Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ranya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about vitamin B12 injection, that is vitamin B12 shot. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is an important vitamin. It is responsible for production of blood cells, maintaining healthy function of brain, and maintaining function of nerves. Low levels of vitamin B12 can cause a lot of health conditions. These health conditions may include permanent nerve damage, short-term infertility in women, loss of memory, loss of vision, delirium, and dementia. Our body do not naturally produce vitamin B12. It mainly comes from food and dairy products. Old and young people, along with people who have a strict vegetarian diet, are at risk of low levels of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiency can be due to a lot of reasons. But sometimes, even after taking a lot of vitamin B12, our body is unable to absorb it. Hence, it causes vitamin B12 deficiency. So, in such conditions, when your body cannot absorb vitamin B12, these injections are given. So now, let us know what is this medicine. Cyanocobalamin is a man-made form of vitamin B12. It is not given orally, it is given in forms of shot. It is used to treat deficiency of vitamin B12. Along with this, sometimes it can be used for other purposes also. Now, we will see what things you must tell to your doctor before taking the shot. If you have a kidney disease, liver disease, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, you must tell your doctor before taking the shot. Also, you must tell your doctor about your health conditions and other medicines that you are taking, including all the OTCs. Now, let us see how is this medicinal injection taken. This injection or shot is given IM, that is intramuscularly. Muscle is a layer that is present beneath the skin. Most of the times, this injection or shot is given by a doctor or a healthcare professional in a clinic or a hospital. But sometimes, in some special conditions, you can take this injection by yourself. But for this, make sure you follow all the proper steps. In case of young children and infants, proper care has to be taken. So, what happens if you miss a dose? First of all, try not to miss any of the doses. In case, if you miss it, try to take it as soon as possible. If it's almost time for the next dose, then do not double the dose. Now, let us see what are the contraindications of this shot. Before taking the shot, it's important for you to tell to your doctor about all the things that you are taking. It includes all the prescribed medicines and non-prescribed medicines, that is, OTC. Along with this, you must also tell your doctor about any dietary supplements that you are taking. This shot is contraindicated if you drink alcohol, smoke, or do illegal drugs. During the course of this treatment, a regular blood checkup and health checkup must be done. A special diet must also be followed along with this. Now, let us talk about the possible side effects of this injection. Not all the people get the side effects of this injection. Even if they get, it's not sure that they will get the same. Some of the side effects may go by themselves and a few of them may require medical attention. If you get a headache or diarrhea after the shot, medical attention may not be required. But in case of shortness of breath, chest tightness, swelling of legs and cheeks, blue tint to the skin. Also, if you are storing or keeping this medicine at your home, make sure to keep it at room temperature that is from 15 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Keep it away from children as well. It is equally important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, Feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.